Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. One of the biggest signs I would say before the coming of the Mahdi is something that I'll mention to you, but I would say this. Uh, this is a sign that a lot of the people, they do not talk about. And this is something that is directly related with the coming of the Mahdi. And so today's video, I want to talk about this particular thing. You can take it as a sign, you can take it as an alamat of the end of time, or the Qiyama, or the coming of the Mahdi, the Jal. It's up to you how you look at Islamic eschatology. That's totally up to you. But this sign is something you cannot ignore. And this is something happening right in front of our eyes. In fact, the whole world right now, they are very much tuned into this uh, one particular thing. And this is really why I want to talk to you about because when I was thinking about this particular thing, I was like, oh, a lot of people, they do, really do not know um, that these things uh, will happen. And particularly, uh, uh, you know, uh, to the Muslims, it can actually happen to the, the, to the non-Muslims as well. So what is that I want to talk to you about? Let's talk about this. So when we talk about the end of time sign and the coming of the Mahdi, the Jaliyajun and Mahjuj, we tend to give an example of grand events like for example you know the mountain is crumbling down the ocean is swelling up um, you know we see a lot of uh, fitna taking place malhama in a war and whatnot taking place as you can see right behind my my uh, you know my face <laughs> this in this in the screen so these things are very very common and this is something that Quran has mentioned that the mountains will, uh, you know, fall apart and we'll see the, the ocean um, big with big, big waves and everything will just go crazy. But what I want to talk to you about is a sign or a thing that most people, they tend to ignore or they tend to say, you know what, forget about it. Uh, we don't really think this is even a thing. This is even a sign. And that is that, dear brothers and sisters, lies. Okay, lies. Now, don't go anywhere. I'm going to be proving you some very important points because lies, they are related directly with Kadab, the biggest of Kadab, which is the Jal. Rasulullah Sallallahu said that Salasatun Kulluhum uh, Yazamu uh, You know, the three or thirty, over thirty people will come and claim that we are all uh, Rasul, we are all messenger of Allah Azza wa Jal, and they are all liars. So lies, in other words, I'm trying to get you at is that lies, they're, they're going to play a very big part. Lying to somebody in business, lying to somebody in, in regards to buying or selling, you know, just normal stuff, lying to somebody about your responsibility that you did not take seriously. These things happen. But lying, one of the person or one of the people, I should say, who will not be talked by Allah Azza wa Jal on the Day of Judgment, is Imam al kadab okay, a, a Imam, a leader who is a liar. But this is not what I'm talking about today. Okay, so this lie, it is coming according to many experts in the Western world who talk about politics, who are commentator about, you know, political issues. They are saying that the situation that is happening right now between Russia and Iran is a big fat lie coming from military industrial complex okay basically what they're trying to tell us is that joe biden okay us and its allies <laughs> they are actually selling or trying to sell a war to us between russia and ukraine or at least they're trying to uh, make it look like that russia is about to invade ukraine and that is not true because the reason for that is because Putin is really not doing anything yet. We'll talk about this in a second, but let's talk about this military, uh, industrial military co complex that is fueling this kind of rhetoric to Washington and to the rest of the world and giving them this, uh, you know, recipe or excuse or a reason to go and talk about Russia in a negative way so that somehow they can manage to brainwash people like you and me to believe that Russia is a bad country, that the Russia wants to invade Ukraine. This is what they want to do. And this is why they're lobbying Joe Biden, that if you can create a circumstance where many countries will feel insecure from Russia and then they will start buying more weapons, then we will be, you know, uh, we'll be making a lot of money, we'll make a lot of profit. So 
this military industrial military complex in u.s people who make this weapon they're lobbying washington they're lobbying joe biden and other politician to go and sell this fear mongerness if you like if if that's the word uh, to people so that people uh, especially the leaders so that these leaders will come together and be like oh yeah russia, russia can invade ukraine anytime so we need to be prepared so this is a big fat lie an overstuff pigo pigogulo that's what they call um, that they're trying to sell us and this resembles the characteristic of the jal as i said kadab he is the kadab and also he, he will come at the at this uh, you know liars all of them will come throughout ages but the big the, the biggest one will come at the end of time now let's take a look at what is happening between russia ukraine russia is in ukraine simply because the part that where they're going in ukraine donbass is a region where most of the people they speak russian they're actually a lot of them actually are said na russian nationality so they have their demands so they're asking russia to help them okay they're telling russia hey come help us with uh, aid and russia does that the russia gives them energy supply food whatever they need for their survival and also military aid so these people are saying uh, telling russia come and help us especially in the winter things get can get very very harsh so we need your help according to some expert russia is building these troops and this you know military bases um, in in that area in the region uh, close to the ukrainian border northeastern of russia is because they wanted to help those separatists uh, separatists okay if you like uh, if you want to call that uh, separatists now these separatists they all they want from russia is protection and russia is now amassing these troops okay they're building up this military around the in the in the area uh, according to some expert is because of that re reason because they want to protect those people so one hand you have this in a military industrial complex uh, uh, they're trying to sell us this lie that russia somehow is a bad country that we need to be prepared we need to be armed and the, this will profit them on the other hand russia is telling uh, well, look we need to go into ukraine in that part donbass because these people they're just like us and they want freedom you know they want us to be there what's what's wrong with that and 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 people are all of a sudden on their feet you know they're, they're lurching from their chairs and saying that hey look this is the time this is when russia uh, is going to invade and this is why we need to condemn russia and putin which is really not the case and should not be the case now the other reason i want to also make mention uh, about putin and russia uh, in this video especially what is happening between them and ukraine is because of yajuj and majuj i mentioned this in my other videos and i mentioned to you guys that the west okay the evangelical christians they believe that somehow russia is the gog and the rest of the other countries like turkey iran they are magog so Gog and Magog, Yajuj and Majuj, they will come at the end of time to invade the state of Israel. Okay, this is how they see it. So if you U.S. politician, they can put a label on Russia and say that these people are bad people. They are the Gog. Uh, in there, there was mentioned in the in the biblical prophecy. Then obviously they are going to get more votes because remember the Republicans, their vote comes from the evangelical christians so if the evangelical christians think oh yeah russia is a bad country and biden is doing the right things so we should support biden that means more money to biden more vote to biden that means four more years for the democrats so this, this is this is a good possibility why the democrats are now stoking this fear in people's hearts saying that look russia is a bad country we need to get it up put in or we need to spend money and protect ukraine really for no reason I mean, look at Putin. He's not declaring war. In fact, Zelensky, the Ukrainian president, he had a very, um, you know, uh, tough call with Biden. He was telling Biden and the West that you guys are panicking for no reason. We do not want war, and nothing is happening. Why you guys are beating the drum of war? Why? Like we are not. And CNN they reported it. Why those came out? The Kadab, you know, the liar, came out and said, no, 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 Zelensky had a very nice call with Biden. Okay, and that is <laughs> furthest from the truth. 
the reality of it is is that even Ukraine Zelensky he the president of Ukraine he even himself is saying why you guys are freaking out why you guys are triggering uh, Russia uh, to take action and invade us we we are here we're doing okay in fact CNN uh, in another report they said things are very calm okay in Ukraine nobody is uh, you know panicking nothing is happening in Ukraine situation is very normal but this uh, White House this you know the mouthpiece for the Democrats these medias they're coming out and trying to sell us this so this idea that Russia could actually invade Ukraine when this is really not the case dear brothers and sisters lies you know uh, you know speaking ill you know speaking about things that are not true is something very very dajjalic okay very very dajjalic and if you see more and more lies it means more and more fitan and more and more likely at the end of time is coming so this video is really about creating awareness about lies do not i mean i'm not saying russia will never invade ukraine they can you know anytime they want but what i'm saying is that be aware of the media okay be aware of what they're trying to tell you uh, do not just buy into something okay just take your time do your research and do not you know conclude something based on what you see on the media because a lot of the time this is because of those lobbying those military uh, the industrial military complex they're trying to sell a war to you so that when your government will spend billions of dollars buying weapons from us or from other countries then you will be happy you will be like yeah we need this because look at the media they're telling us we are we can be at risk we can be invaded who knows so uh, dear my sisters uh, we are men of iman and taqwa and we need to be aware that nothing will harm us except uh, by the permission of allah Azza wa Jal. i will be inshallah making more videos and talking about this current issues if you're new here someone interested in these topics uh, consider subscribing assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh